Greetings and welcome to Curtain Riser at Natya Darpan. My name is Ashok Chaudhary, President and Founder of Indian Heritage and Cultural Association of New Jersey. In 2013, we started a non-profit organization called Indian Heritage and Cultural Association of New Jersey. The purpose of this non-profit organization is to promote the U.S. best local talent in performing arts such as theater, dance, and music, and to bring the communities together. Since 2016, we have been organizing multilingual short play festival, Nat Tedarpan where over 550 local US-based artists perform in this stage. These artists include actors, directors, writers, stage uh, makeup men, sound and light engineers, backstage managers. So they show their all talent in front of thousands and thousands of very well-educated, very sensitive audience of New Jersey and Tri-State area. This is our eighth year of Nakti Darpan. In this year, we are bringing six short plays, three in Marathi, two in English, and one in Hindi. For non-English plays, we have a super titles in English. Muna TV International is airing these episodes for Nakti Darpan. This episode, it's produced by Kshit G Entertainment. In this episode, we are going to discuss and get to know the director of these plays. In today's episode, we have guest Anu Kanetkar Mahabar from Abhivakti, California, joining us. To conduct these interviews, we have requested Dr. Manoj Shahani. Dr. Shahane, physician by profession, is well known in New Jersey and theater world in USA. He is an actor, director, and playwright. He has done a lot of work in uh, New Jersey as well as in USA. He won many awards for his acting and writing skills. He performed in English, Hindi, and Marathi. He wrote these plays in English. Four Wall was one of his favorite play and was very well received by internationally known audience. Last year at Natya Darpan, Manoj presented Selfless, an English uh, short drama, which was also critically acclaimed. So without further ado, I would like to welcome Anu Kanaitkar Mahabar, and Dr. Manoj Shahane. Dr. Shahane, I will give it to you. Take it away. Thank you, Ashokji and Mana International TV for creating this curtain riser for Nat Tezarpan 2023. I would like to welcome Anu uh, from Abhivyakti uh, for this episode, uh, who's bringing a Marathi play called Pratibimba uh, by Mahesh El uh, Anu, uh, I know we have met before uh, few times that you have brought your play here uh, to New Jersey. Um, we didn't get to talk about Abhivyakti. So uh, if you can let us and the audience know uh, what is Abhivyakti, when did you start or when did your group start and okay. what, how was your uh, uh, travel? Thank you, Manoj. And thank you, Ashok. Thank you, Nakta Darpan. And thank you, Mana TV. So it's really good to be here. And uh, yeah, to answer your question about Abhivakti. So Abhivakti, we started around like 2003. Mm -hmm. Initially, we started with really small productions and they were re really literary based because as I am really into like poetry and so we started with those kind of programs a lot. We did many programs based on uh, authors like Gauri Deshpande and stuff like that. And that at some point uh, we started with plays. And, uh, but since beginning, I remember that we have been uh, kind of um, 
commented that Abhivyakti always does this offbeat plays. <laughs> so I will tell you the list of the plays we have done. So you know what. So to begin with, we did um, Vairachi Ratra, Thief, Police, Haivadan, and then we did Yatnagar, El Kunjar, Party, El Kunjar, and then, uh, yeah. So it's always, for me, it is very important that this journey of any performing art or any anything, that journey has to be fulfilling for each and everyone involved in the project. And I really feel if that is the goal that we have, then I, that's why all this selection of the plays and everything. And I am, as you can see, whoever was involved in the program, they had that feedback. So that's Abhivakti, as you can see, that's that's what we do. And uh, you have seen Sonata last year. So we presented Sonata. Yes. Okay. So um, apart from these plays last year in the BMM, we did uh, a program called Antaricha Gudagarbi, where again, we did the same thing instead of just... Um, so not just, but yeah, we really tried to portray a very, um, as you can say, content, uh, quality content from Marathi literature about the taboo topics. Mm -hmm. No, that's, so, that's great. It, uh, I mean, anytime you had to say that it was content driven or, you know, something that means a lot, a um, yeah. little intense, little uh, depth to the subject. I don't think these are taboo. These are fine. I mean, I don't think uh, everything that I have written in the past is always okay. very intense. It's not been, uh, you know, that's lighthearted. Uh, yeah. It can be, but there is nothing wrong with it. I think it's... Thank you. <laughs> there are, there are um, elements like Nakti Darpan. There are uh, stages like Nakti Darpan. There are many others in the country who actually request and require people to come in with the different ideas, social messages, and kind of portray that, especially in Nakti Darpan, because in Nakti Darpan, there is no censorship. So we need that because we need a forum that can freely uh, showcase the ideas that anyone has yeah. uh, without fe feeling, you know, the fear element or, you know, how do I put it up? What will people say? So that I think that is something um, that brings us to the next topic is, you know, picking up, I think you have done a few of uh, Mahesh Ji's plays, mm -hmm. uh, and these are, at the best, not easy, right? Um, to the best of the directors, to the best of the actors, they start at 7 out of 10, right? So yep. when you are starting to do plays like Mahesh Ji's plays, especially a thing like Pratibimba, which is a very deep play again, which kind of starts in a very lighter way. And we're not going to talk about the play itself because I want people to come and see the the play for what it's worth. We don't want to talk about the content or the subject line at this point. Yeah. But, you know, it does, does have that element of very deep um, subject, right? About, you know, existence, about a lot of things. So... A, why do you kind of there? You know, there are different levels of depth, right? You can you can do you know in Marathi, you can do G A Kulkarni, you can do very different levels of uh, plays that have different depths. So, how do you kind of go about looking for a script uh, which has meaning? How do you do that, Anu? So we because of the pandemic, thanks to pandemic, we started meeting on Zoom every now and then. And then we started reading these plays casually, like, you know, just try. And I think instead of one person reading it and visualizing it, that energy when you read it in the group, it gives something else to it. Because, you know, the whoever is reading it, whoever is listening, it just gives a different picture. So I think that really helped us in that well, all those like two years. So we were pretty consistent about doing that. So first, my thing is, if I feel like, oh, this is something interesting when I look at it, but I don't do that alone at all. I'm a people person. So I just, you know, I, okay, let's get in on Zoom and read it. And then we, I get to feel, oh, this is what it is. Yeah. So that's the first thing that, uh, yeah. Okay. And then we know that if people are interested until the end, then we know that is what it is. And it might 
not be that everyone is understanding everything, including me. First reading, no one, yeah. But it just has that uh, drama element to it. And drama is on various levels, right? It's just not the, the melodrama that we know. So, yeah. So I think the drama element comes up only when you read it in a group. That's what I have felt. That. Did you did you ever come across people that were kind of negative about a very deep plays like this one or yes. the previous one? Absolutely. That they yes. said, you know, why can't you do something funny and you know? Always, play? always. So okay. we we get that. That's why I said, uh, yeah. So uh, I don't know if I should said, but yeah. Here we always uh, required like, why can't you do something simple? You know. Halka Fulka Vinodi, as you say in Marathi. And uh, yeah, we have so always I mean, asked for... I, I'm not trying to uh, put you in a difficult spot. Yeah. What I'm trying to do is encourage people to listen to you, uh, yeah. look at things that are happening in Nati Darpan every single year, the the depth and uh, width of the subjects that are covered. Uh, and they're very diverse. So, you know, there is a definite element to it. So I think it's you don't have to, you know, justify yourself trying to see or say that you're doing this. But I just wanted to get your feedback, kind of, because you've been doing this on and off, and I have heard about it yes. in few of them. Um, but I think it's very commendable that you're working on such a thing. Uh, in terms of, um, if you can introduce your cast members that are here, uh, because you know, and then then I can. Uh, request them to comment on a few things that I may have questions about. So if you can be kind enough and introduce them uh, to the audience. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thanks so much. Yeah. So meet my cast members without uh, whom the play won't happen. So Supriya Zoshi. Mm -hmm. yeah. So she has been with Abhivakti since the first uh, program we did with Gauri Deshpande. So yeah, she and uh, Deepti Gokhale Mengde. Uh, this is, she has been working with Abhivakti for last four or five years. I think I I would like to say about Deepti is when we did Yatnagar, it was just the two characters thing and I just needed third person and Deepti came up and say, I can do anything. You can tell me anything starting from, you know, like a stage or anything. I won't mind. I just want to part of that journey. And I still remember those words and she has been so good. So I think, yeah. So those are like Supriya and Dipti. Yeah. Okay, so, so I mean, uh, I'll ask um, Supriya something first because she's been with you the longest. Um, Supriya, quick question for you is. Sure. When, when, um, when Anu decided to do Pratibimba, did, did you have to kind of go through the understanding part of the play first or you just kind of started with Anu and then as you started and went along, it kind of opened up even more? Because this is not for us, Definitely. for the audience, so that when they see the play and they kind of connect to what you are saying now, they will understand how the progression works. Yep, uh, great question, Manoj. Uh, thanks, thanks. First of all, thanks to uh, Abhivakti, of course, and then Natya Darpan and Mana TV International for this opportunity. So, uh, to answer your question, again, as Anu said, that we uh, read Pratibimba as one of our favorite writers, Mahesh Elkun's part play during the whole pandemic um, thing that we were always doing, reading every, almost every weekend, and then selecting some uh, ekankika to present in front of the Zoom audience. So Pratibimba was one of that. Um, anu brought it up. She said, like, this is another play. We all will be interested. Fortunately, we are a group of very like-minded and uh, pretty much very avid readers. So the first draft was, OK, you will read uh, this character. XYZ will read this character. So we just divided the characters and started reading. First, in the first, I would say very honestly, maybe like two to three rounds, there was nothing that I could really understand from whatever character I was reading. But as I started going deep into the dialogues and what exactly El Kunzwar story is trying to say, and in discussion with my team members like Ajay, who is not here today, but with Ajay and Anu, we just explored the entire set of characters. We explored what is the thought process behind this Pratibimba. Does it relate to what we are doing or what we are living in today's world? And then it amazed us 
that how relevant it is though the play has been written somewhere in 1980s every uh, word or every sentence every character is so relevant even today and that is where i think i will i i got to understand it more and more i'm still exploring the character i don't want to say that i completely understood it because it's again el kunchwar's play his characters have a different uh, dimensions different depths but i'm still exploring my character in the play um, so that that's how i will say it it's it's still in the works but now i'm at least at a phase where i'm more comfortable with it so that's that's very good to hear and and lot of people when they see you on on the zoom right now they see you are excited about your character yes and that satisfaction is seen on your face so that's extremely important for an actor to kind of talk about their character and the play because you know as as a lot of people who are acted before they know how much of a rush or a high you get talking yeah. about your character doing it on stage and that's better than any you know any drug or anything else that you could think of so <laughs> i we can see that on your face so that's 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 actually great um, that tells the audience that you've done a lot of work um for the play with anu and then we'll go to dipti from here is what about you what what's your uh, what's your take uh, but i'll not ask you about your character i'll ask you about what's your experience with anu because once or twice i met her in the you know pre stage pre play stage and she was screaming and yelling at times um trying to get things done so uh, not not to be uh, mean or bad but i just want to know how is anu as a director she she is an amazing teacher i should say that first uh and again to start with thank you for having us here on this platform and uh uh you know letting us express what we feel about this whole experience and not and uh, not that friend has given us this platform to you know actually come back on stage and perform uh on that level of an audience and uh, uh so anu is a great teacher and i love being her student that's the first <laughs> that's the first um i as she said i started uh, i i didn't know anybody i was when i wanted to get in back in theater here in los angeles i was like i need somebody to like a platform i need to know a person i need my person who will give me that food right i need i was like craving and thanks to a like another common friend who introduced me to anu and then as she said uh, when yatnagar came i was like what what do you need was my thing and i will be there the whole process the whole experience of me just being there and like you know i will manage the production if you want me to you know i'll do this but but her teaching i learned so much in that process even when i was not on the stage that is that was thrilling and inspiring at another level because i was getting back to what my heart believes in after a very long time and then uh i am still i like it gives me shivers when i talk about it because it is so close to my heart and yeah, that's good that's very and, good and, and that's where i when she i think she saw something in me so when we started doing the zoom readings i am not a great uh i i, I should not put myself in a negative but i am learning to read more fluent marathi and my vocabulary in marathi is like you know increased because of all this zoom reading and uh, uh, the whole uh, experience of you know and performing we have performed many a plays uh, on zoom and uh, she understanding that part of me that okay you need a minute to read and then you can it's how you understand it how you act it and she explaining it to me of what does this thing or what do you think about it i'm just going to give you a background you do you i think that liberty coming from her and allowing us or all actors to express what is coming from our side is 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 a privilege to to you know to be to be in the vicinity of and like so much day to day learning so much with anybody like you know anu be it supriya be it ajay or any other Uh, are actors that i've worked with uh, so far so i'm i'm just thrilled that's that's my no, uh, i hear that and i was trying to lure you in a trap 
of calling anu names but you didn't fall for that i, did. I was so like i said she's a great teacher role. that's that's my that that's role. my name for her <laughs> <laughs> so i was just kidding earlier anu i was not trying to be mean to you but uh, i have a question back to you now is i know we've been talking about it in the past too like you coming from california to new jersey with the ensemble you know your costumes and what not it's not easy because you know you're you're presenting in jersey and you have to kind of make do with things um ha, ha, do you usually give thoughts to your uh, set design um and and things like that when you when you have a play that is not going to be presented locally and kind of if you can share a few thoughts about that uh, for the audience it kind of give them perspective of somebody coming from a 6 hours away on a flight and ready to perform in a different location what would you say to them so i think that's the most challenging part it's always balancing act i am it's happening in my brain once i stay like you know the natya darpan journey starts it's always like okay so as these people know they are the part of this journey because we are thinking about each and one little property like is it necessary can we go um, can we go ahead without it is it really so this balancing act is kind of stressful but at the same time it is really uh getting us to the what we are trying to say on the stage it's getting closer to that statement what we are trying to make uh through our script so it is that kind of thing but it is very stressful because the thing is yeah the simple things right okay so if we cannot really do that then can we skip that or can we replace that or yeah so that's really the balancing act about each and everything and uh, so far we have been lucky that like from sonata oh, i i thought that oh you know people got what we are trying to say even though properties were not up to the you know it was not the full fledged um, set and still so yeah it is uh, i i'm sure i can say that at some level it is a compromise we are making but at the same time given the platform i feel like we should try our best with what we have so what we have is yeah this is the script we have and we are trying to present so yeah, yeah so no, that, that, that's a good thought and then to kind of add some value to what you just said is i have worked with uh, and i've seen a lot of plays by uh, mr dattani from india and Dr. Farley Richmond, who has done these plays at Nati Darpa and other area, and they kind of makes us think sometimes is the need to create a structure behind um, is only as important as what you're trying to convey. So I have seen them do the same effective stuff that they have without doing things like you and I do. So I am also like you. i need some kind of support structure in the back to present some of my ideas um but i think uh, forum like natya darpan actually you can you can see other things also so it's kind of a mixture of both so i think it's it's a great combination for the audience to kind of see uh, part of the set or no set at all so and still convey the same uh, kind of effective outcome uh just so that people know that it's not it's not just you and i and and others but it's the subject that you're presenting sometimes needs certain things and uh, this is more for the audience than yourself is kind of audience needs to understand that there are certain subjects certain plays they do need a certain element of a uh, stage or nepatya so i just want to kind of i'm sure you agree with that too and i just want to audience to kind of hear that from us um uh, so that you know i wouldn't want them to kind of see see you know some people are doing it with empty stage and why can't you and i do that and that's really not true in certain cases while it's true in certain other cases depending on the, you know the concept the genre the content and the execution so i just wanted to put it out there for the audience uh, kind of a plug out there so that they know about this 
right? Yeah. yeah. So to add to your thing, I completely agree. So this time, because this time we had a bigger team uh, from uh, Sonata, uh, unlike Sonata that we had in uh, Natya 2021. So this time we really focused on lighting because lighting, we don't have to take any props. So we really go through... So um, Samir, who is helping, uh, he's doing the lighting for uh, this. So we went each and every, how we can exploit that part at least because the props is, because of the logistic reason, we cannot do that. But there are so many other things like music and light. So absolutely, you are absolutely right. Because I think what happens on the stage, these are the whole elements and then it's a drama. It's, it's just not one thing, absolutely. It's a okay. combination of all these elements. Uh, that's, that's, so uh, from, uh, from New Jersey, Obviously, we'll give you whatever support uh, we can give you to help you. Um, and there are crazy people here, very passionate about uh, the theater, like yourself and your team. So I would really like to sincerely thank you and your team uh, for coming uh, online here on the Zoom. And I would like to thank you all and then Mana TV International and Ashokji. And with this, I will uh, invite Ashokji back to thank all of you for being here. Thank you so much, Manoj. This is such a entertaining topic and very educational for me too. As you guys know, I'm not a theater person. I'm learning from you all. Um, anu, Supriya and Dipti, your enthusiasm is really, really uh, showing that it's going to be a wonderful, wonderful play. And this will keep that enthusiasm from our team as well. Thank you so very much for taking time from your busy schedule to come here and uh, stay with us and introduce to our audience about your play. Thank you very much. Dr. Shahane, what can I say about you? Very intelligent questions, which we have not prepared. These are all impromptu. And I was listening to this, your question and said, wow, these are really one director to an, another director. This is a conversation I always uh, enjoyed when I learned so much from this one. So this is a great thing for our audience. And of course, the Manati International audience will be thrilled to see these episodes, uh, which was produced by Krichi Entertainment. So thank you, Manochi. Thank you, cast of Pratibimba. See you at Natya Darpan. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you.